what are your superpowers again? I'm rich. Hello and welcome everyone. In the Justice League, Bruce Wayne tells Flash that his superpower is that he is rich. So how rich is Batman? In this video, we are going to find that out. But before we get started don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will never miss an upcoming update. And with that out of the way, let's get started with our video. How did you get the house back from the bank? I bought the bank. Bruce Wayne is one of the richest people in all comics, and he uses his immense wealth to finance his vigilante activities as Batman. However, Bruce's net worth at any given time is pretty difficult to pin down, since most comics are not explicit about the particulars of his assets. But let's estimate how much would it cost to be a full-time Batman. First things first, the bachelor pad. If you're going to pull off the lifestyle, you'll need your very own Tudor Gothic mansion like Wayne Manor. The exterior shots for the two films in Nolan's trilogy are of Mentmore Towers in Buckinghamshire, UK, which was recently appraised by a real estate website for $32 million. Interiors, though, were shot at the opulent Osterley Park House outside London. An architect who actually builds these types of homes said that it would cost at least $24 million. Now as much as Alfred loves Batman, he doesn't work for free. If you consider a personal butler is paid upwards of $150,000 per year on average, it's safe to assume Bruce Wayne will be compensating his beloved Alfred at least that much. If you're dressing like Bruce Wayne on any given day, you're wearing a made-to-measure Armani suit. On the cheap, those babies will set you back at least $3,000 each, one for every day of the week, plus dress shoes and casuals. That's big money. Talking about his drive, Bruce drives a different Lamborghini in each of the three Nolan films, suggesting he owns at least three of them. The cost of a new Aventador, a Murcielago Roadster, and a Murcielago LP640 is nearly $800,000, and that's without factoring in whatever else he's got parked in the garage. To get ripped like Bruce you'll need access to a world-class martial arts instructor and trainer, who on average charge at least $60 per hour. Consider that you're training three hours a day, four days per week, and that's well over $35,000 per year. This also presumes that you have an at-home gym, which will likely set you back at least $15,000. On the conservative side, while Bruce doesn't seem to fly all that often, save for the flight out of China in Batman Begins, there's no way he's flying commercial. That means owning a jet, or at least chartering one every time you need to skip town. A mid-sized private jet from Pentastar Aviation starts at $2,700 an hour. So how much would it cost to live like Bruce Wayne for a year? Approximately $33 million. Holy big money. Above we have just talked about Bruce Wayne. Now let's see how much it would cost to be Batman if you are already Bruce Wayne. Batman suit is created from Gnome's materials, it is insulating padding, fire resistant, and bulletproof. The suit is covered with armored plates and ribs for articulation and movement, and this makes it reasonably mobile. He may have to spend a lot of time training with it, to learn where the blind spots are. The suit armors most vulnerable spots like the shoulders, knees, elbows, shins, and forearms. The chest has a plate in the center of the zone, where people are taught to aim at. The cape is made of a memory cloth polymer that can be used as a makeshift paraglider, and a suit of armor includes a custom graphite bullet-resistant cowl, and this may run one about $1 million. Now let's have a look at Batman vehicles. The Tumbler was developed for Wayne Enterprises Applied Sciences Division as a military bridging vehicle. Covered in weapons and capable of stealth mode operations, each unit cost a cool $18 million. The Batpod, a motorcycle-like vehicle that acts as an escape vehicle from a burning tumbler has 20-inch wheels and is capable of making a 90-degree turn almost instantly by rotating its wheels, steered by shoulder movements allowing for hands-free driving. It costs $1.5 million, to say the least. The Bat is a hovering, Harrier-like vehicle capable of VTOL, flight, and acceleration. The estimated cost is $60 million. If you're Batman then you must have some impressive gadgets to fight against your opponents. There are just so many gadgets. This is where the greatest cost of being Batman is incurred. Rebuilding the mansion, security, Bat supply kits, grounds, hollowing out, and reinforcing the Bat Cave, gun ranges, installing supercomputers, the private forensic labs, medical facilities, the turnabout, more cars, and all this comes to half a billion. This is not inclusive of Wayne Manservant's fees as both butler and security for the estate. That's another $240,000 annually, which will sum up to almost a billion. So, now if you're thinking of becoming Batman then check your bank balance first. So, Batman is not really kidding when he says one of the superpowers is being rich. Anyways jokes aside, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And with that, we will bring this video to an end. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.